when I was first considering St. Norbert. The big thing that was important for me was the student-teacher ratio, right? The faculty-student ratio was key, and I have to say that that is still key today. And I took a molecular biology class with six people, six students, and Dr. Fire, Russ Fire was the instructor. He keeps all of his note cards from students, and so from when I took his molecular biology class in the spring of 1991, I wrote that my career goal was a PhD in biochemistry. I went on later to run large molecular biology classes at Harvard of 250 people. To know that your ability to interact directly with faculty who can probe sort of your interest and shows interest in you and in your career and in your trajectory, that made an enormous difference. I was a valedictorian in my high school class. I can remember the first day I stepped on this campus and I went into my interview and I spoke from the heart about what I wanted to do and what I felt I could do as you know, a woman interested in science and um, St. Norbert College made every opportunity available to me. They, I was awarded a trustees fellowship, which is why I was able to come here. And yes, the, the small liberal arts college was right for me. I felt that I, have, I had a wealth of faculty and mentors from the art department, chemistry department, biology department, and then in the history department, which was not what I was studying, but provided a very unique and important perspective for me. I came into Harvard University as somebody who was going to be trained in sciences, correct? But I was, you know, one course short of an art minor here, right? In terms of fine arts and, and have, doing the, the general education program, the honors program, learning the different lenses that people see the truth through is really important. The scientists have a very unique approach to teaching, to problem solving, and we speak different language sometimes, but it's really nice to have the training that allows you to say, okay, but I know that if somebody in humanity is going to approach this problem differently, somebody with history training is going to approach the classroom differently, and that you can actually enrich your teaching and classroom experience by talking to colleagues from other disciplines. And that is a liberal arts background.